actor Jonathan Majors' issues worsens as more alleged abuse victims cooperate with the DA's office. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. According to Variety, as Jonathan Majors prepares for a May 8th court appearance on domestic violence charges, his PR problems are about to get even bigger. Sources familiar with the matter tell Variety that multiple alleged uh, abuse victims of Majors have come forward following his March arrest and are cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. The prospect of more women waiting in the wings would mark a uh, dramatic turn in the case and comes on the heels of Majors' publicist and management firm cutting ties with the embattled actor earlier this week. The DA declined comment. A representative for Majors didn't comment on the record. The Creed Three star was arrested on March 25 in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan on charges of strangulation, assault, and harassment, allegedly. At the time, an NYPD spokesperson said in a statement that a 30-year-old woman told police she had been allegedly assaulted by Majors, 33, and that she sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in stable condition. But Major's attorney, Pryor Chandri, mounted an immediate and aggressive response insisting that the actor is probably the victim of an altercation between a woman he knows and suggested the woman was having an emotional crisis. A source familiar with the chronology of events say the attorney released a statement while he was still behind bars. Chandri's husband, Andrew Bork, is serving as Major's crisis publicist and doubled down on the narrative that Majors was the victim when he released a series of text messages on March 30 that were intended to be exonerating. In the text messages, which had not been independently verified, the woman wrote to Majors, I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone and stressed that she told police this was not an attack. The woman allegedly wrote, Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me that you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did, and I'm sorry you're in the position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I love you. A few hours later, the woman allegedly wrote, I know you have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the 911 call was to do with me collapsing and passing out. And your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. But for many who were in business with majors, the text messages had the opposite effect and raised more questions than they answered. Namely, why the woman had lost consciousness. It read like a bad Lifetime movie. They basically look like the text messages of a textbook abused woman says one person who is working with Majors on an upcoming project. In recent months, Majors had become one of Hollywood's most promising stars with a series of high-profile and lucrative roles on the horizon. Now, all eyes are on his future with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where he is poised to play the titular Kang in Avengers, the Kang Dynasty. Majors is still attached to star in that film, which is slated to be released on May 2nd, 2025, and he is poised for a $20 million payday, including back-end compensation. Pardon me for that slip up there. He also was signed to star in Avengers Secret Wars, which is slated to debut in 2026. Disney is monitoring the fast-moving situation and has time to move deliberately. The mega-budget uh, Temple Adventures, the Kang Dynasty, is scheduled to begin production in the spring of next year. Disney is already deep in business with majors given that its specialty label, Searchlight, acquired the actor's critically lauded drama, Magazine Dreams, in which he plays a troubled boy builder at the Sundance Film Festival and was prepared to mount a robust Best Actor Awards campaign later this year when it released the film on December 8th. Majors already shot the second season of the Dynasty Plus series, uh, Loki, 
which is expected to launch on the uh, steaming platform in mid-2023. Disney has the added wrinkle in that the alleged victim in the Manhattan incident also worked on this year's Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, a film in which Majors was third billed as Kang in The Conqueror. A Disney spokesperson declined comment. Separately, Majors is stepping down from the board of the Gotham Film and Media Institute and has worked with the Cindy Portier Initiative, which was created to support emerging filmmakers on Wednesday afternoon. Executive Director Jeffrey Sharp sent a note to the Gotham board alerting them of the move. The industry was jolted by news that Majors' publicist, the leading company and management 360 had dropped their star client well before his first court appearance next month. As of now, WME is still representing majors. In 2018, the agency created a so-called client advisory committee, which makes a recommendation on whether or not to drop a client accused of impropriety. The committee of some 20 staffers split evenly along gender lines and from a cross-section of divisions elevates a client's viability and accusations and considers such factors as if the client has been charged criminally or is facing a civil lawsuit. WME previously dropped such clients as Brett Ratner, Brian Singer, and uh, Army Hammer. The committee has not met yet regarding majors based on the limited information that is available. Still in the wake of the actor's March 26 arraignment on a complaint involving Misdemeanor charges for alleged assault and aggravated harassment, additional red flags began to emerge. Broadway actor Tim Nicolia, who appeared opposite uh, Rachel Weezy in the public theater production of Plenty, tweeted that day, I'm already seeing a bunch of why didn't you do anything, folks, people have tried. Ultimately, needed a victim to come forward. It's both simultaneously awful to know he is still doing this, and also a relief that he may never get to do it again. A bunch of us are close with people, and sometimes multiple people he has directly harmed. I don't know if they will speak on it. It is completely their decision. When Variety reached out to Nikolai, he responded, I stand by what I wrote, and I support his victims I know of, and however they chose to move forward. Nikolai says no one from Major's camp reached out to him in the aftermath of his tweets. Inserted my words, why would they? Don't be stupid. A judge ordered Major's release on his own recognizance on March 25 with a limited order of protection. Over the ensuing weeks, the actor, a Yale School of Drama alum, whose uh, recent credits include Devotion, The Five Bloods, and an Emmy-nominated nom role in HBO's Lovecraft Country, has been dropped from a number of jobs, including a uh, protagonist, Pictures, The Man in My Basement. MLB's Texas Rangers have cut majors from their 2023 season ad campaign that was scheduled to launch on Friday. And Fashion House, Valentino, and majors have also mutually agreed that the actor will no longer attend this year's Met Gala. In addition to his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the actor is also poised to play NBA bad boy Dennis Rodman in the Lionsgate film 48 Hours in Vegas. With that project, the studio is watching developments closely before making a decision about whether or not to proceed with majors. Other projects that hang in the balance include Spike Lee's The Understudy for Amazon. A source at the studio says majors is still attached to Star and produced alongside Will Smith, but the project hasn't moved forward since it was announced in early March. I think the truth is everyone is waiting to see what Marvel will do, says an industry insider familiar with the situation. It doesn't mean everyone will do the same thing, but that's what people are looking to. I'm Tyrone Bowman. Never surrender. Never quit.